This is AP News Minute. Defense Secretary Mark Esper explicitly said Sunday that he had seen no hard evidence that four American embassies had been under possible threat when President Trump authorized the targeting of Iran's top commander. This as the administration has struggled with its justification for the drone strike on General Qasem Soleimani. Esper saying, however, that he doesn't believe Trump was embellishing the threat of an Iranian attack overseas. Protesters in Tehran calling for the ouster of UK's ambassador to Iran. Ambassador Rob McCare was briefly detained by Iranian officials after he attended a vigil honoring the victims of a downed Ukrainian passenger plane. Britain says his arrest was a violation of the international law. Tens of thousands forced to flee their homes in the Philippines Sunday after a volcano eruption spewed ash and rocks into nearby villages. The tall volcano is just south of the capital Manila, and it's one of the world's smallest volcanoes. But officials say a hazardous eruption could be imminent. So far, there have been no reports of injuries. Firefighters in one part of Australia say they've been able to turn from defense to offense for the first time in weeks thanks to a break in the weather. Crews in New South Wales setting intentional fires Sunday to control the spread. Australia's wildfire crisis has killed at least 27 people this summer and scorched an area larger than Indiana. Robert Bumstead, Associated Press with AP News Minute.